So I work at the University of Auckland on uh, superhydrophobic surfaces. So a hydrophobic surface is something like Teflon and a Teflon pan, where if I throw some water on it, the water wants to beat up into a ball rather than spreading out. Uh, so the difference we make when we talk about a super hydrophobic surface rather than a hydrophobic surface is that we're not just dealing with the chemical, you know, what it's made out of. So Teflon, we've got a Teflon pan, it's just the chemistry of it that makes it repellent, uh, repel water. In our case, we are looking at the structure as well. So the idea is we have a set of ridges or posts at a microscopic level and our water gets stuck on top of the very tips of that and can slide around really easily. So the idea is it's something that water won't stick to. Boats, for example, the America's Cup, you wonder uh, how much faster we'd be if our, the surfaces we made the boats out of just slipped through the water rather than kind of sticking to it and trying to drag the water along with it. Um, Teflon pans is a good example. You kind of go, well, what happens if we could make it you know, out of iron? but it now repels water and oil and everything perfectly rather than having it all stuck and you needing to wash it all perfectly afterwards. Um, so there are a number of areas which are you know, useful all the time where you go, actually, it'd be really nice if things didn't stick to that. A um, you know, good example, of course, is you know, car windscreens. If you could just drive through and all the water slipped off rather than stopping you from seeing everything, that would be really handy. It's the kind of thing that I'd really appreciate on a wet Auckland day.